Hi teachers, this quick video is going to walk you through how to merge any of those books that you bookmarks that you have in Firefox into Chrome. Um, it's a real easy process. The first thing you need to do is you need to open Chrome and make sure you have Firefox or Edge if that's what you're using closed on your computer. So I have a Chrome window open here. Firefox is not open, neither is Edge. I'm going to click the three dots in the right hand corner, go down to bookmarks, and then go over to import bookmarks and settings. So before I import, one thing that I want to make sure that you are doing is you absolutely need to make sure that you are syncing your Chrome account. So this is going to ensure that if you are moving from an old machine to a new machine, that all of the bookmarks that you have in your Chrome account here are available in your new machine when you sign in and sync to Chrome. That's the whole point of signing into Chrome with this little icon up here and making sure your sync is on. So when you sign into Chrome and make sure your sync is on, a box will pop up asking you to link your data. You need to make sure you link data. You also need to make sure that you turn on the sync and that if you click your little icon up here in the corner, you see this button that says sync is on or the green sync button here. If you do not see that, please click to make sure that you sign in again and turn on your sync. So now that we're here, I'm going to actually do that again because I closed out of my little window that popped up. I'm going to click the three dots, click more tool or bookmarks, and then select import bookmarks and settings. So then from here, I would select my drop down. I want to import from Firefox. This should pull up any of the browsers that you have on your computer. It looks like I have three. So I'm going to import from Firefox. I can choose which things to import from Firefox. So it looks like I have browsing history, favorites, bookmarks, saved passwords, search engines, and autofill form data. Up to you on which ones you select. I usually never import my browsing history. There's not really a point for me to do that. I also don't need to import my search engines. However, I do want to import my favorite bookmarks. If I have saved passwords, it's so nice when they come over so I don't have to figure that out. And that autofill form data. So that would be when you go to a form to complete. A lot of times Google will auto recognize what things you put in certain fields. So you can leave that checked or unchecked up to you. And then you simply click import. It will, depending on how much you have in that browser, it may take a little bit longer. And then um, I have it set to show the bookmarks bar or I can turn it off, but notice my bookmarks bar at the top of my screen disappears. So I'm going to make sure that bookmarks bar shows. And then you'll notice I now have a folder with all of my imported from Firefox. This will keep everything you've imported from Firefox organized the exact same way that you had it in Firefox. So if you had it on the toolbar in Firefox, it would be here. If you had further links under Mozilla Firefox, it would be here. Or if you had other folders, you would see those folders there as well. If you have any of these that you want to move up, you can simply cl click on it and drag it up to the Chrome bar and then that bookmark will pop up there. So you can drag anything there, you can delete it, and then if you want to manage things, that's where you would want to go into the three dots, bookmarks, the bookmark manager, and this is kind of like the folders and files view of your bookmarks. If you're interested in that, there are other videos that I have out there that you can watch to help you better understand that. If you need some help with understanding what it means to sign into Chrome and not Google, I also have videos out there on that. So please make sure you reach out if you have questions about that. But otherwise, that should be as easy as it is to move your things all into Chrome and then pull it all over to your other machine when you sign in.